Hey, how are you? I'm Vinny Sensei, and welcome to week five of the five week phrasal verb challenge. In this challenge, you're going to learn five new phrasal verbs each week for five weeks. The phrasal verbs in today's lesson are carry on, give up, wash up, grow up, and break down. Before we continue on to the lesson, please remember to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Your support is always appreciated. While studying, you can pause the video anytime you want to and repeat after me to practice your pronunciation and fluency. Also, please check a dictionary if you need to. Let's quickly review exactly what a phrasal verb is. A phrasal verb is a verb with a preposition. Today's phrasal verbs are carry on, give up, wash up, grow up, break down. So for example, carry is the verb and on is the preposition. Together, carry on is a phrasal verb. So the first exercise is a definition match exercise. Match the phrasal verbs one, two, three, four, five to the correct definition, A, B, C, D, E. You can check your answers on the next page. So the phrasal verbs, one, carry on, two, give up, three, wash up, four, grow up, five, break down. And the definitions, A, wash the dishes, B, continue doing something, C. Stop doing something or quit. D. Stop working. Usually used for machines or mechanical items. E. Get older or become an adult. So again, match the verbs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the definitions. A, B, C, D, E. Pause the video, complete the exercise and press play to check your answers on the next page. Let's check your answers. Carry on means continue doing something. Give up means stop doing something or quit. Wash up means wash the dishes. Grow up means get older or become an adult. Break down means stop working and is usually used for machines or mechanical items. In the next exercise, you will use the phrasal verbs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to complete the sentences A, B, C, D, E. So again, the phrasal verbs number 1, carry on, 2, give up, 3, wash up, 4, grow up, 5, break down. And the sentences A, this maths problem is too difficult. I nantoka. B. My car is very old. I am worried it will nantoka if I drive too far. C. I am a little busy. Could you nantoka the cups, please? D. The secret to improving your English is to nantoka studying regularly. E. When I nantoka, I want to be a police officer. So again, match the phrasal verbs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the correct sentence A, B, C, D, E. Pause the video, complete the exercise and press play to check your answers on the next page. Let's check your answers. Pause the video. This maths problem is too difficult. I give up. My car is very old. I am worried it will break down if I drive too far. I'm a little busy. Could you wash up the cups, please? The secret to improving your English is to carry on studying regularly. When I grow up, I want to be a police officer. The next exercise is a response match exercise. So read sentences one, two, three, four, five and choose the best response from A, B, C, D, E. 
So the sentence is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 first. 1. This maths problem is too difficult. I give up. 2. My car is very old. I am worried it will break down if I drive too far. 3. I am a little busy. Could you wash up the cups, please? 4. The secret to improving your English is to carry on studying regularly. 5. When I grow up, I want to be a police officer. And the response is A. Thanks for the advice. How long do you study for every day? B. Try again later. Maybe you can solve it then. C. That's a good idea. A detective? D. Sure. I'll do them in five minutes. E. OK. Let's hire a car instead then. So check the sentences 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and choose the best response. A, B, C, D, E. Pause the video while you complete the exercise and press play to check your answers. Here are the answers. A. This maths problem is too difficult. I give up. B. Try again later. Maybe you can solve it then. A. My car is very old. I am worried it will break down if I drive too far. B. OK. Let's hire a car instead then. A. I am a little busy. Could you wash up the cups, please? B. Sure. I'll do them in five minutes. A. The secret to improving your English is to carry on studying regularly. B. Thanks for the advice. How long do you study for every day? A. When I grow up, I want to be a police officer. B. That's a good idea. A detective? I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please remember to hit the like, share and subscribe buttons for future content. Please leave your comments and any suggestions below. See you next lesson and have a great day.